Hey everybody, this week's video is just real short and sweet, but we're expecting some inclement weather this evening with some high winds and some possible tornadoes. So I'm gonna shut the windmill down so it doesn't get all twisted up and I'll show you how to hook up this shaver driver. Okay, so this is gonna be applicable to all your shaver drivers, and it's very important that you hook them up this way. The way these drivers are designed is this hydraulic cylinder right here, and I may not be saying this exactly right, but it is a one-way hydraulic cylinder. There's two springs mounted on either side of the cylinder. There's one right there and one right there. This is the hammer assembly right here. When you raise the hydraulics, they go all the way up to the top of that and the springs load up. When you release this valve right here, the weight of the hammer right there and those two springs that are completely loaded to the top of that carriage is what brings that whole bottom section down. And so by doing that and having a one-way hydraulic cylinder, the hydraulics are only flowing into it one way. When you release the hydraulic pressure and the hammer and the springs pull down, all of the hydraulic fluid rushes out. So this is your hookup. This is your input. And instinctively, you would want to plug your return in right here. But because that's a one-way hydraulic cylinder, when you try to plug this return into the return here, it creates a back pressure. And when you create that back pressure, the hammer will fall, but it'll fall slowly. It, won't, it will not have the full 30,000 PSI of downstroke. So what you have to do is, is you have to hard plumb it into your hydraulic fill reservoir. So the hydraulic fluid, when it's returning on that downstroke, Instead of it going into a blockage and creating a pressure point right here, it just free flows right back into your hydraulic reservoir. So when you hard plumb this into your tractor, you're gonna to need to call Shaver Direct and you're gonna to have to get a fitting. You're gonna to have to tell them the model and the make of your tractor and they will send you this fitting and on one end will be male and it will screw into the hydraulic reservoir on your tractor. On the other end will be female and it will have SAE threads on it, just a standard three quarter inch um, opening that you can get any type of nipple from your big box stores and just screw it right in. And uh, in m your hydraulic line, in a lot of cases, may screw directly into it. So, but you do have to have that fitting um, in order to get it to screw into your tractor because it's not gonna be just a regular three quarter inch SAE nipple. And one more thing you're going to have to get is you're going to have to go to your tractor supply and you're going to have to get a swivel. Um, if you don't get that swivel, you're not going to be able to get this onto your tractor because this hose is just going to be trying to spin and it's just going to get it into a big old knot. You'll never get it tight. So shaver is not going to give you this. Um, you're going to have to go to your local tractor supply store and get a nipple. And they have them in all different sizes for your application. And then this will just screw directly onto your fitting that you get from uh, Shaver. So that's the proper way to hook that up. Just remember that uh, if you hook up to your return on your tractor, you're not going to get the full PSI on the hammer stroke. You're going to have a resistance and you do run the risk of damage to your hydraulic system on your tractor. So I hope that helps you. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.